Morning. Like it's going to be a funny old day. Like there's loads of clouds, there's loads of wind. Um, we're still quite warm. Who knows what this weather's doing, eh? <laughs> first things first. I'll jump on the straw blower. We'll get these cows bedded down. So I'm in the 130. Let's go and start her up. Looking good, ready to go. Oh, I've just picked a bale up. And I'll use these controls here to pull it in and then we'll cut the bands. That's it all pulled in. My dad's down there feeding out on the TM. Towards the end of feeding now, which is good. So hopefully I'm gonna go for a little walk with the uh, the wife, the in-laws and the kids around Woodsboro Reservoir, which should be nice. Not been there for, a, uh, well, probably about 10 years. They go all the time, like, but I haven't been. Be nice to spend some bit of time with family today. Oh, got a dog in here. What are you doing? He you driving? Dad's filling the mixer up now. Business. I go old school, use a fork to get this onto there. I could get the uh, JCB, but it's a bit of messing about and hey, why not? I had a curry last night, so let's try and burn some of it off. That's it, all done. I think these guys are happy about it. Hey? Hey, fella? A bit interesting. Lovely things. School is sometimes the best. My granddad would have used this fork. Like, it is that old. Um, I don't know, sometimes it's just nice to go back to the old ways and see how it was. Remember your past. <laughs> so I just done the same for these fellas. These guys are new in, so they have loads of hay and then a little bit of our meal. That's because they're going on to a new feed, so we don't know what they've been fed before. We've got a good idea on what they've been fed, but it's not going to be exactly the same as what to, what we're feeding them. So we need to feed them a little bit of our ration, but allow them to have as much hay as they want so that they can fill their bellies and um, feel full. So that's what the hay is there for, to fill the bellies, and then the ration, we're just working that in. So minimizes the stress on the animal because changing diets can be a stress for an animal so if we can just gradually work that in then um, then that's the way forward right anyway on to the next job the mixer wagon on a 7530 base down the yard so my dad can finish the mixer hopefully if my wife's not late because she's never late she is um She's going to pick me up soon, so I can go for this walk. Should be nice. Becky's here to pick me up. <laughs> Isaac's checking it out there. So Esme um, has decided that she's not called Esme today. What's your name? Tilly. Tilly? Yeah, Tilly. You're called Tilly, are you? Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> You're a dolphin, are you, Isaac? Okay, yeah. that's great. I thought you were a shark. Oh, that's a shark. I'm a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, These are nice roads, aren't they? Look at all the trees. <gasps> Look at all the trees. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Look at all the trees. Look at all the trees. Isaac, wow. what do you think lives in? Could it be the Gruffalo? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was Brazil. <laughs> you brought a hippo. Oh, no, it's a dinosaur. Oh, no, it's a rhino. It's okay. Daddy doesn't know these things, does he? He only knows cows. Look, it says here, hello, I am a mouse. This is quite impressive, isn't it? This is the mill where they'd mill the wheat into flour. How many horsepower the mill was when it was in operation? Be interesting. That would be alright here, yeah, another weighing scale. 
Yeah. We've got one of them, Becky, at the farm. What exactly is Very similar, very, very similar. Oh, wow. Look at this. Little model of that. Ollie Blogs is like that. So he loves dolls houses. Daddy but another person that would love this massive stationary engine, Mr. B Yorkshire Farmer. He's got one of these, but on a much smaller scale. This is an old rolling mill, similar to what we use on the farm. Oat roller, it says. It's got two, two rollers, very similar to what we use. I bet that would be really, really noisy when that's working in here. It's quite impressive, this. Look at the gears. And the millstones. You must still do a bit of um, bit of grinding here. More modern scales. Need a mouse. No, oh, this is uh, this is impressive. We've got a set of them scales as well at the farm. Old school. A few farmers on here remember weighing things on them. Here we've got like an old school, I'm guessing it's a loading bay. So you back up to the back there and then you've not got to, to lift stuff off the back the same. Yeah, what an, uh... yeah, that's interesting that, I'm glad I came. People dressed as steampunks today. To the insect house. It's what? It's naughty. It's naughty? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what can you see? Yeah. Can you see it there? A piece of wood? Wow. Wow. It's all the insects laid. It looks like some pallets, doesn't it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> this way. The start of the mill. Where's what? Hey, family. Oh, you're itchy. Oh, Esme, Esme, as I'm walking with her, ask where her parents have gone. <laughs> oh, there's people walking past. <laughs> Look at that. What a den. How cool. Looking cool, guys. <laughs> you got some leaves? Wow. Come on, Isaac. Let's go. Uh oh. You okay? You alright? Yeah, you're a big girl, aren't you? Come on. Come on, Penny, you should tell us what this is. You should know this. No. 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 It is a, it is a type of corn, but it's, it's wheat. Did you not yes, say it's wheat? wheat. No, I didn't. I said, I said it was some sort of grain. If, uh, if you watch my YouTube channel, Penny, you'll find out a lot, a lot of these interesting facts. <laughs> Got some cattle here. This is nice. A belted Galloway bull. There. In the shade. Hi, cows. Hello. So we've got some Herefords as well. Mama, or cemental. I'm not cow. sure. This one might be a cemental. Some calves here as well, Max, and I'm relaxing. Mummy's having to carry Isaac now. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's very windy. Just about to walk over the, the dam. Woodsbury um, Mill, and look what we found here. <laughs> <laughs> Steampunks. Steam Steampunks. Yeah. How many is there, is there today? Oh, about 35 ish. Yeah. Like yeah. They're wandering around everywhere. And do you have like a group that you're 
This is, is it, yeah. This is it, yeah. Do you have a Google lens? Google is, lens yeah. is that a web page that people can visit? Or? It is, yeah. Oh, it's a Facebook page. Oh, Facebook page, yeah, yeah. 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 Facebook through the lens. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, well, you're looking all great anyway. You look fantastic. Yeah. So. You're, looking, you're looking fantastic. Well, well, yeah, I'm in my merchandise, in the Joe yeah, Seals you're merchandise. You're the epitome of uh, 2021. Oh, um, is that right? Dude about town, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. Yeah. Dude about town. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking. Time. In a hundred years' time, people will be dressing like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, right, yeah. well, thanks for talking, guys. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go! How exciting! Again, again, again! again. <laughs> At this mill, they still produce fifty tons of flour a year. It's quite impressive, really, isn't it? They're jumping in, and Esme's come in to find the mouse, the harvest mouse, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dive shaft that comes all the way through the building and then belts coming off to power different parts. So this is a separator, so this separates um, the crushed grain into uh, all the separate separate parts. So semolina, bran, and white flour. Just quickly reading on there, which is quite interesting. And then bags it up below. So I'm back at the farm now, I've got the cows to feed. I've got some cows to take in, um, yeah that's about it really, but yeah Woodsboro Mill I would recommend to anyone, really really good, um, it was great to meet all those steampunks as well, that was something a bit different, um, I think they go around Yorkshire, um, if you check out Through the Lens on Facebook then you'll find them on there, if anybody else is into that sort of thing or wants to see them um, at the next meeting then yeah head over there to find what they're doing. Right, I know what I'm doing now though. I'm getting on to TM and I'm gonna start feeding those cows. I've got loaded up in the scan here, so I'm gonna get set off with these guys. And when I'm done with this, I'm done for the day until tomorrow. So <laughs> if you've liked our video today, please press that like button. Subscribe if you've not already, because we're really close to getting to that 10K. And yeah, we're gonna have pizzas, beers for all the team here. Um, Mick, Ash, um, you know, our Ben's probably going to come and have some because he's always there. And um, yeah, uh, they're looking forward to it. So, but we need to get to that num number first. So yeah, hopefully people can help us out with that. And if anybody wants a hat, because it's getting sunny now, uh, you want a hat on your head, keep away at the sun, joeseals.com. Get one from there. Brilliant. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Business. Fent chili bottle as well, taking that out full of water. Keep hydrated, guys. Keep hydrated. <laughs> I've had to go and do mixer mentions a little bit different today. It's now mi not mixer wagon, it's just wagon mentions. It's on the Scania. Let me flip this around. Massive thank you for your donation, your generous donation, Peter Ryan, um, to the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Peter is an Australian bush firefighter. What? Well, there it is. Legend. What a legend. Um, thank you so much. He's also gave us some beers beer money and some takeaway money for our uh, party, our 10k party this weekend. Great guy, I can't even, yeah, brilliant, thank you very much, can't believe that people from Australia watch us and want to donate to uh, local charities that are close to our heart, so thank you so much for that Peter, it really does mean a lot. Right, that's the end of the video then guys, thanks a lot, I'm going to get back in here, head up back home. Bye for now, see you tomorrow.